Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I am your host, Eben, and today is going to be another exciting video on the SL550, aka the Synthetic Oil Protection Machine. And we're going over four things to get your wheels ready for the winter. Number one is going to be the mudslinger. Number two, the MPH, uh, MP metal protector. We got the HD, super thick for the winter for snow. And we're going to be going through and doing the brake fluid. We're going to also talk about how important the brake fluid is to do before the winter. Let's rock. All right, the first thing we're going to do, we got our simple green five to one, five parts water, one part simple green. We're going to get rid of all of this buildup inside the wheel well. So we got a nice clean surface on our sway bars, all these metal parts. And this is a really good detergent, super easy to use, gets all the brake dust off, clean up those wheel wells. This is an insulated wheel well. <coughs> got her all nice and clean. Now we got two products I recommend. If you live somewhere where it's really, really, really moist and rainy, I recommend the MPHD. This puts on a very thick red coating. It's like a waxy coating. It goes around your metal, your exhaust, any type of metal parts. This is gonna seal out tons of corrosion. And I recommend doing this every winter. If you live somewhere back east, this is amazing. You can use it on snow blowers, anything with metal. And now this is not metal. We're not back east, so we're good. We're gonna knock right into our mud slinger. This is gonna keep all that uh, build up from building up in your wheel well if you're driving through snow, tar, uh, any type of debris, mud, it just doesn't let it grab on the inside of the wheel well. So here we go. And the good thing is about this, it's got the great cherry uh, smell to it. Let's do it. It won't hurt any plastics or paint, not going to hurt nothing. I'm spraying A-arms, all your metal components. It's not going to let it stick to it. Shock tower, any metal. Your exhaust, anything that it could stick to. Now we're on to our MP metal protector. Now I keep this around like candies. This stuff is un... You couldn't even put a number on how valuable this stuff is. I use about a can of this every year on all mechanisms, locks, uh, drives out moisture. This is a penetrating oil. It's clear and odorless, so it won't stain metal. So here we go. I'm going to show you the stuff I usually hit. I hit thread holes, all your thread holes around your metal parts. I'm going to go here and hit thread, threads, threads. And now we're going to hit a very special thread. We're going to hit our brake bleeding line, which I always bleed the brakes right before winter. So you'll see that little nipple. I got that, nice and good. Hit our all our little components. Because you never know when you're gonna be changing any of this out. It's good to have all your uh, threads already protected. So when you go to take this off and you wanna replace your calipers or you wanna replace your brake lines, which you change out all the time, you don't have to worry about it because you keep up with it every year, you're always putting it on. So now it's time to bleed the brakes. All right, I wanted to go over the Amsoil brake fluid. This is the dot three, dot four brake fluid. And this actually exceeds the dot four specification. And you'll see the very high boiling point. Now, they actually allow a little bit of contamination with water. And uh, the more water that's in your brake fluid, the quicker it can boil. When it boils, you actually get a soft pedal. The oxidation breaks down the fluid quicker and quicker. Now, this car has 10,000 miles on it of city driving about 20 to 30,000 miles highway driving. So in Vegas here, the blacktop's about 170 degrees and uh, it's just not like anywhere in the world, 110 degree days all summer. So I want you to show it, see exactly how, how ugly this brake fluid is. So here we go. We're gonna crack her open and I'll show you why I'm doing it. So the OEM, you wanna do this every year or 30,000 here I'm doing it almost six months, so this is changed out for the winter. So you'll see that tinge to it, and that tinge is definitely some oxidation. Suck hose, and we're just shoving it down in there. 
and that's it here we go we're going to start sucking and you'll see it's got that fairly dark tinge to it and that's some oxidized fluid now it's not jelly and it's not it's still running nice there's really no major contamination but what will happen if you go say three years here in Vegas and never do it it's going to turn into a gelatin and uh, your brake pedal won't come back so you'll push your brake pedal down but it won't come back so if that's happening you want to get this brake, brake flush done now we've done many brake flushes on the channel check that video out up here in the corner we did the synthetic oil protection machine before but check out everything on the brake flush all right just wanted you to see all the old brake fluid what it looks like so it's still pretty nice and liquidy there's no real jelly there everything's looking fine it's just that this brake kit makes so much heat because I drive this pretty good with the stoplights out here. There's a lot of stoplights and that heat builds in the rotors and that heat really oxidizes the fluid. So this is definitely going to make a big difference on your brake modulation, how smooth the pedal feels. And it's going to feel like you actually have a lubricant in your, uh, on your brake pedal. And believe it or not, the brake fluid is actually a lubricant. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and crack our seal. We got our little seal here. And we just go ahead and punch it in. Just like this. Like that. And now we put it in. You'll see how beautifully clear it is. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And this brake reservoir is going to take about one bottle. And we're going to fill it up good. And now it's time to bleed our brakes. It's always good to clean up the cap, make sure all that old residue is off there. We hit all around here, that's off there, so you won't get any buildup, and you'll see how nice and clear the new fluid is. All right, we got our 11 mil open-ended wrench. We got our little hose. The hose is right here on the uh, little nipple, the bleeding nipple. So we're gonna come here, we got our driver in there ready to pump the brake. So driver, Go ahead and push. Push it. Now. Now I close the nozzle. Once the nozzle's closed, the valve, I let him let his foot back up. Let your foot back up. Foot's going back up. What's up? All right, go ahead and push. Push it. Now I'm going to open it up and let the fluid out. And we're going to continue this process until the fluid runs clear. Now. Let your foot back up. Push. Back up. Push. Push and you always want to start with the furthest line away from the brake reservoir. So the brake reservoir is on the front left. We're doing the rear right, and you always want to start with the longest brake line first, moving into the closest brake line to it. Let your foot back up. Push. Up. It's up. Push. Let your foot back up. Foot back up. Push. Push it. Now this can take about 10 to 20 pumps, depending on the car. You always want to make sure you check your reservoir, make sure you don't run out of fluid, because if you get air in the system, you're going to have to go back through and uh, pump it all again, which you don't want to do. So always make sure of that. Continue to do it until that fluid runs clear. Now. Let your foot back up. It's going back up. It's up. Push. Pushing. Down. Let your foot back up. Up. Push. Pushing. Down. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go ahead and tap this little button. And then you're gonna see the notification bell. You're gonna go in here, you're gonna allow it, all the settings in the badge. You're gonna go back and you're gonna click this bell and you'll hit all notifications. That way you'll get a notification when I publish my next video. What better time to clean your wheels when you're doing this whole uh, refresh on your car for the winter, you might as well do it. So here we go, take a look. This is our wheels after about a what do we have? Yeah, about a year of brake pads. So that's trouncing around here in town. 
So what do you do? Get your simple green, same thing, here we go. Just watch her melt right off. Just melts right off. Here we go. Look at that, all that metallic pad just melts right off. Just make sure you get all your simple green off. It's very uh, super tough on rubber and plastic, so don't leave simple green on any rubber or plastic. It'll actually corrode it and melt it away. So we're gonna make sure we hose these off. And uh, if you love this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. That helps out the channel. Remember to subscribe. You can come back and watch tons more videos on protecting your vehicles to get your vehicle to run longer and speed stronger. So if you want your car to run longer and stronger, definitely subscribe. And remember, we got Evens End of Month giveaway. That's me. I give all kinds of $100 gift cards away at the end of the month. So leave that comment down below. Let me know what you like about this. If you have any add-ons, what we could do to get your car ready for the winter, definitely leave that down in the uh, comment section down below. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, click the reverse down arrow. If you're on a smartphone, that'll take you down in the description section. You can get all these Amsoil products down there as a preferred customer. That'll save you about $33 off a $100 order. So that's the very best way to get it. And when you order with my link, I get the credit and I'll be your Amsoil guy in the future. I can answer all your questions on this stuff. This is what I do about 70 hours a week and uh, no one helps me with my channel. I have a camera guy every now and then, but it's all me. And uh, I edit the videos, do everything. So it means the world for all those likes. And uh, check out this playlist here. This is on a lot of other cleaners and protectants we've done on the channel, my old Corvette, check that out. And right here, this is on the cold flow tests. We're gonna be testing tons more oil. We'll see you back next time, right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.